Hello everyone. So today in this runtime generated word, we are going to work on how to add multiple foliage types and how to define rules that allows us to distinguish which grass types or bush types grows on what area. So here you can see this normal grass is grows in uh, lower angles and steeper angles you can see this bush type of grass uh, not exactly a grass this is a bush so this type of a plant grows in a steeper angles so just like this you can add multiple foliage types into the runtime um, grass generating system here and that's what we are going to work on today also as of the end of the last time uh, we had not implemented the way to um, align these grass clumps up angle with the surface now that i have implemented it so that's why they nicely overlap with the ground rather than having them point outwards from the surface sometimes uh, that was the situation last time so we are going to address that as well and before we get started i'd like to remind you as always you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that i have done in my channel in the patreon page so once you become a member you can download anything without a limit so let's get back to the tutorial right so this is the state of the project at the, uh, as of now so here you can see we have only one grass type and the grass is uh, not aligned to the surface as well so we are going to fix that also uh, we are going to see how to add multiple grass types and uh, how to define rules to determine where to spawn each type of grass we have already created this foliage types so therefore i can add additional types so here i have this bush whatever this is sedge dune sword this bush so i'll create another foliage now let me just duplicate this copy here Fell Dune Sword and uh, I'll add it here. So then I'll assign this here. So now you see we have both types of classes here together so there is no distinction like uh, they grow same as the other okay so now let's go to the class where we define the rules here this is the class for spawner header file and spawn object this is where we spawn actual instances first let's fix uh, how to align uh, the grass instances with the normal for that we will be using this property in this foliage type we already have the option to align to normal i don't think i need that for this bush but for the grass i need it so i'll leave it true and then here when we set the angle i'll use this we have the foliage type no we can access the foliage type like this you foliage type instance static mesh foliage type equals foliage types and get the relevant one using foliage type index 
Now, this is where we check um, align to normal if body is type. Align to normal is true, then this is how we should calculate the angle. We can get the distance transform set rotation F rotation matrix make from Z. So here let's give as the input the hit impact normal. So using the Z component of this vector, rotation will be calculated. And then first we need to convert this to a rotator and then quaternion to assign the rotation. Else we can have this previous part. Now let me say go back, compile, done, play. Now we see in angled places the grass is aligned with the surface and since i left a line to surface falls for these bushes they are straight so since the bushes has a, a smaller base it's fine but for the grasses they have a larger base so if we don't align it we it doesn't um, work all right now let's look into how to have the rules to distinguish where to spawn each grass type so for that we already looked into that when we spawn large trees here we had the conditions first we check the slope angle let me just copy this part check the ground slope i'm not going to explain this again because we already worked on that so you can also use the same code we can do that check even before we check for a line or any other condition. So basically before we create the transform, we can check for that. So instead of hit result, we have hit here. And foliage type already matches to this variable we have here. So here we check the slope angle, minimum and maximum and make sure this current foliage type uh, lies within this given angle based on the impact normal of this input hit result if not we continue that means we do not uh, execute the rest of the loop we jump to the next loop next iteration of this for loop okay so that's the angle and then we check for growing altitude and the density let me go with these two conditions as well and go back to the grass spawner i think uh, altitude check and the density check is cheaper compared to the angle check so i'll do them first so we don't have an in location here instead of we can use hit location z component same for this and also i'm not using a random stream so if i want to think about determinism then it's better to have a random stream so i'll add one like this random stream for the cross spawner mm. 
now that I have added it, we have to initialize that as well. I'll do that in the begin play level because I didn't add a begin play function here. And okay, here we use this initial seed density, which is this one, this value. And then draw in altitude, height mean, height max, which is this. Mm, I'll use 0 0.50 for both. I don't remember the exact water level, it's 100. Okay, 250 should work. And as for angles, I'll set this to 25 to 30 and this 0 to 25. Make sure you have saved everything in your code side. Go back to Unreal, press the spawner, begin play. Here. First, let me compile. Done. Now, here. Set random spray. Make random spray. I'll keep zero if I want to randomize it. What we have to randomize is this number, otherwise it will stay the same. Okay, save everything and... Right, now we see uh, the density of the grass is reduced because we are now actually using the grass density defined within the foliage settings. So I don't see the bushes. They are here they need a much steeper angle they only grow in a steeper area so that's why I didn't see them over there so right I'll increase the density because I need more so five this uh, maybe three and I don't think we are using this is scale. Do I? I don't remember. Set a scale. Yeah, we were just setting some random value. Instead of doing that, here, let's get foliage type scale. Procedural scale. Mm. We need to put this inside the random range. So, random string. Fend range. Main first. And then. max second right now we should be used getting the actual scale that we have defined here let's compile done save and play some of those doing so instances also over here maybe we should increase because this area is still looks a little sandy but 
you can adjust the details and get exactly the way you want it so thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available here for the download in patreon page link would be in the description below and in the next time let's work on how to remove foliage tiles as the character moves further away from this already spawned grass tiles so at the moment uh, there is no removal process so therefore if i go further away still the grass tiles would be there in the distance now because of culling they do not appear but still i'm not sure if that cause uh, performance impact having the instances not removed even though they don't really uh, render so let's find out but for now if i now the unit graph as you can see it doesn't cause much of a performance issue So yeah, let's find out if we can achieve some further improvements next time. Bye.